Well, boys and girls, <laughs> I'm back to the joystick steering. I decided I didn't like this setup. It wasn't for me. There's too much crap going on here, too much weight. And now we are at a simple joystick setup, similar to a lot of Tadpole tricycles. It has no camber or toe in, toe out during uh, bumps. This is all just temporary right now, this whole setup here. The video where I was showing you how to make the tool to make a square uh, end on a bolt, that is going to be for this bolt here. And it's a little uh, jack shaft basically that's going to go from the inboard handle to the outboard arm here. And I want it to be robust because there's a lot of weird torquage going on on this thing. <clears throat> and I'll build a plate just like this. I'll weld it on nice and tight and that won't be popping and uh, I won't get into a catastrophic situation. I'm going to make a square hole out of this, so this will fit in by using my square fly hole, of course, and a lot of elbow grease. It's kind of a process of going down this way, up that way, this way, that way. Got my little square in that will now fit in there, and now it's just a matter of making my little sleeve. I'm using some three quarter inch tubing, pretty thick wall, 50 wall, but I'm boring it out with a 15 millimeter drill bit. So uh, I could use my little 15 millimeter stub ends there. Yeah. So here I am welding that uh, outer tab down to the uh, little axle square end and that ain't going anywhere but once that's done I still have one final weld and that's the flange right there to the bottom of the handle. But that's not done until I install this thing to the frame and attach all the uh, steering linkages up and at that point I'll then turn around and uh, weld that flange to the bottom of the handle. Now, shark pops out. Whereas before I had it tucked under here and it was locked in. There was no way I could install it or remove it.
Okay, here I'm trying to uh, get the connecting rod and the uh, shifting handle in the right angles. So here I'm just using a 3 8 inch rod. I'm out there. I've used my little angle finder here, lining up the shaft. And now this will be bent here 90 degrees to this connecting rod here so I got my angle let's go bend it a little preheat doesn't hurt and we're there okay this is all ready to weld Not too bad. Oh my god. <laughs> like I stirred a fire in the tube. Right now I'm working on the connecting rod to the gear shifter. So far this is what I got. This came off of an old Volkswagen gear shifter. I actually hacked off the end and welded it to the shaft because it was a little thicker ended up just uh using one of my uh heim joints on the end here i was went into town to try to see if i get something smaller it is impossible to find heim joints whatever i don't care it's going to be more robust anyway it took quite a bit figuring out to do but finally got it and my VW handle broke off, so test a cool little dual knob I've had for years. Alright. Kind of excited to see how this is going to work. Can I keep my vice back, please? Thank you. Nice. Well, here we go. So our steering is working pretty good. Our shifter. I like it. <laughs> It'll work pretty good. It's kind of nice to have all of your um, little doodads on your handlebars, just like on a motorcycle. Starter, turn signal high, low beam horn. It's all there, just easy access. And it's so much easier to get in and out of, too. Um, I really like this layout. I just hope it's not real twitchy um, once I get it on the freeway. We shall see, we shall see. So, it's getting there. Yeah.